Getting our hips aligned, visiting a castle and making CBD infused cocktails. Oh, it's a good day, Hello and welcome to Good Day State Line. It's finally Friday night. It's October 1st. The spooky season is officially here. We're closing up a fall fun week tonight with a trip to Haven Crest Castle in Savannah, Illinois. Plus it's Spirit Day with the Bubble Hive. But before we get to all of that, we have to name this week's Fan of the Week. Our question this week was, what's your best childhood memory? Our winner is Reginald Smith. He said uh, that his family was very close and he loved hanging out with all of them. He won a GDS swag bag packed with good We'll give you a new Fan of the Week question on Monday night, but before we get to that, we got to get to today's show and InstaChat. Every night we're breaking down the latest trending stories here and inside our Instagram story. So first off tonight, The Bachelor has a new leading man. After Chris Harrison stepped away from the franchise during a controversial season earlier this year, the host position has been in question. While Tasha Adams and Caitlin Bristow have hosted two seasons of The Bachelorette, there was no official uh, replacement named for Chris Harrison until this week when former Bachelor and ESPN analyst Jesse Palmer got the job. ABC hasn't said uh, if he's going to host more than the upcoming season of The Bachelor, but Bachelor Nation seems to think this is a pretty permanent replacement. Bachelor Nation also wanted us all to remember that when Jesse was The Bachelor, he accidentally gave a rose to the wrong woman. <laughs> 2004. Also tonight, you're talking about Tony Hawk. He's getting into the chicken sandwich business as he gets ready to open his own fried chicken restaurant. It's going to be called Chick and Hawk. It's opening next spring in San Diego. Tony's been working with Andrew Bachelier, a big time uh, Cali chef who wanted to jump on the hot chicken sandwich trend. Tony's been prepping for this collab by traveling the entire country trying fried chicken sandwiches. And do you love the movie Scream? Do you love it enough to sleep in the original Scream house? David Arquette and Airbnb are teaming up to host three different one-night stays at the Scream house. It's going to be October 27th, 29th, and 31st, complete with a Scream movie marathon, 90 snacks. You can actually bid on this experience for just $5 starting October 12th at Airbnb.com. We've always got more Insta chat for you inside our Instagram story. At Good Day Stateline, we'll be right back with Dr. Natalie Richards from Revive Chiropractic.